Good afternoon, Cubes of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And today, guys, we're here with a quick mail call. Nothing too serious. Some fun books I picked up uh, for varying reasons. Uh, some off Instagram, uh, some one through a buddy, and uh, some off whatnot. But some good bargains here, so we're going to go through these real quick. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, the first book I picked up was off whatnot, and I can't remember who I got it from, but I paid a buck for it. This is a near mint shape. Captain America, A Viper in Our Mist, issue 342, first appearance of Co Coach Whip, and um, a lot of Serpent Society characters in here, but um, a lot of fun, a fun issue. Um, it's it's all over the place with action, but it's, um, it's a product of its time, and it's a lot of fun. And uh, Coach Whip's, Coach Whip's uh, one-panel entrance is a, a pretty cool look, too. Um, this is a favorite book of mine. I love the cover. It brings two of my all-time favorite characters on a cover together, both created by Robert E. Howard. I am, of course, talking about Conan the Barbarian and King Cull. In Conan the Barbarian, Giant Size Annual, King Size Annual, number three. Now, I have this a couple times. This was a pretty near minty copy, and I picked this up for under five bucks. And this book usually goes, depending on condition, anywhere from 10 to 20 and sometimes people overprice it. Uh, that was not the case this time. Uh, this is another cover I pick up whenever I see it. I either have this in a 90 or 96 slabbed over there, plus some, um, uh, and I have another one or two of these raw. But I love this book, I love this cover. It's just one of the best covers ever. It's a Cho cover. And um, right here, just the New Avengers, issue 15, just this Spider-Woman cover is absolutely gorgeous and amazing and just one of my favorite covers absolutely love it it's just perfect it's a perfect cover so i always grab it when i see it always add it to the pc there's always those books we buy and uh, we talk about it a lot right uh books that you buy whenever you see and you pick them up and uh, that's one of them and i have far too many of those but that's a, another story for another day <clears throat> speaking of books i already have DC Special Number 1, Arian, Lord of Atlantis. I have this entire run. Uh, I do have this, but this was in near minty shape. I got this for $1.25, so grabbed it again. Couldn't couldn't beat the price. Uh, this is a cover I just like. I'm, I'm a big werewolf guy, and I love the way that this cover is designed, and I never had it, and it's hard to find this cover in really good shape because it's an all-black cover. Old 75 Center, the West Coast Avengers 5. Plus you have Tigra on the cover, so win-win. But what a great cover. We finally got a nice clean copy of that. Uh, now the next one is, I have his Marvel Comics Presents. The three issues he was in, in, in that. And I didn't know he was in the Hulk. <clears throat> when I saw this, I had to grab it. I got this for like a $1.25 or $1.50. And this is The Incredible Hulk. 251 with whatever happened to the 3d man so actually i gotta read those three 3d mans and then read this but um fun little concept can't wait to read it then uh issue number 305 of daredevil this is the first appearance of terror um as terror and as a hero he did appear in um uh saint george issue two as a villain and i have that issue somewhere around here as well but there we go. Uh, then I have this entire series, but this cover, it was so clean and I got it for uh, under $2, so I had to grab it again. Vastly underpriced on this one. This is the Savage She-Hulk issue 13. Just a fantastic cover. I love this run. It is my favorite She-Hulk run. The Savage She-Hulk, that first run. Uh, I know it's inconsistent. I still love it. And one of the reasons I love this series too is just the Mike Vosberg art is just just incredible. I love the work he did on the She-Hulk series. <clears throat> and speaking of She-Hulk, I bought this. Now, most people probably would have bought this for the Double Dooms. But this is the Mighty Thor issue 410 and featuring the Savage She-Hulk. Now, this is a book I've never read, so I can't wait to give it a read. Hopefully, it's not part one of anything, so I don't have to buy more. But if it is, I'll have to get the complete story. But there we go. And then um, 
this is just me being a silly little specker on nothing. So I have three issues, one new stand. I have another one on the way, I believe. This is Secret Wars 2, issue five. This is, of course, the first appearance of Boom Boom. Um, I just happen to think she'll show up in the MCU at some point. She's a fun character, and she could kind of be um, a little bit of the, the Harley Quinn of the Marvel Universe, or she's a little eccentric, she's a little wacky. You could have some fun with her. Uh, but Boo Boom is a fun, underrated character, and you never know who's going to show up. So when you can pick up these keys for one or two bucks, you grab them. Uh, and then I'm a sucker for Blackthorn Publishing, uh, that old publishing company. I really enjoyed the stuff they did. Um, so this was supposed to be an ongoing, I think, but Blackthorn's three in one. I already had issue one, but then I bought it bundled with issue two, so now I have both issues of that. So, just a great little series, uh, Sword and Sorcery and Fantasy. <clears throat> and next, I got uh, things from two Instagrammers. Uh, one's my buddy, Nick, from Nick's Kicks and Comics. I'm going to put Nick's uh, links to Instagram on there because he does a lot of selling on there. And if you're looking to buy comics and you want to buy from someone with integrity, then these next two gentlemen I'm going to mention are for you. Uh, first up. I collect Tomb Raider. I'm a big Tomb Raider fan. I've played Tomb Raider since the first game, so I've been playing it for over 20 years. Uh, Lara Croft is just a great character to me. I believe I might have this issue, and I know I had different variants of number one, but this is Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, number one, the Andy Park cover. Just a great cover, and this whole series is great. I have the compendium of it that has all 50 issues, and I have a lot of the issues. Just a great series. I loved it. It was fun. It wrote Lara great. And um, just um, a good nostalgic series for me. One I do keep going back and revisiting. Uh, so this next book was a throw-in, which was uh, really appreciated. And I bought this off Walk Pops Attic on, on Instagram, which is, for those of you who don't know, Mark from Legion of Comics' father. So he has a sales page on there. And a good supporter on Instagram, likes a lot of your stuff, follows you. And... Uh, all around good dude. Uh, we won't hold Mark against him. No, just, uh, Mystery in Space with uh, Captain Comet. Now, this one I didn't know about. So he might have just sent me down another path. Smart smart dude, because he's probably got the rest of these, right? But what a great cover that is. And what really caught me about this cover is it says, plus the weird. Now, that weird, the weird four-issue limited series was one of my favorite limited series from DC. I really like the weird a lot. So this uh, really captured my attention when I saw the weird on the cover. With that, also with it just being a kick-ass cover. Great cover. <clears throat> now what I bought from him was this series I had seen in dollar bins before. But I never saw them all, so I didn't bother. You always see issue one, you didn't see the rest. So I don't know if it was a low print run. But we're talking about Aztec, the ultimate man. And just a fun cover. Look at that. Issue number one. And uh, it seemed that this series was just um, him running into different characters in the DC uh, universe. So Aztec, the Ultimate Man, issue number two, Emerald Forest, of course, running into the Green Lanterns. Great covers, too. Then The Girl Who Was Death, Aztec, the Ultimate Man, issue three. A little bit of insanity on that cover. Really nice. Then we have number four. All right, number five, and uh, looks like he just got himself a whooping. So he's got he's got some recovering to do there. And he can't be a hero without getting a good ass whipping once in a while. All right, number six, the Joker. And then of course, if you see the Joker, you know who's not far behind him, right? So in issue number seven, we have him against the Bat, him and Batman. All right, and then in issue number eight, another good cover, nice and dark, uh, Steve Lytle cover. And um, there he is after, once again, getting his butt beat. So the superhero thing's working out real good for him. And then um, one of the cool villains from the DC Universe in issue number nine, smashed by the parasite. So uh, Aztec still having a bad day. All right, and then finally, issue number 10, and it looks like you have the Justice League, another Steve Lytle cover, of course. And um, there we are. 
So this was the lot I bought from Lock Pop Addicts. It was the Aztec lot. He threw in the missing space. Uh, and uh, just two good guys uh, that you can buy from with confidence that have integrity and that sell you books in great condition. That is, of course, Nick from Nick's Kicks and Comics and Lock Pop Addicts. And I'll leave their descriptions uh, in the comments below in case you're checking out books and want a good deal and want people that you can trust to buy from. But that's it for today, guys. Until next time, keep it casual. Attention all, use channel sponsor Rogue Trader at theroguetraderutah.com and my code, keep it casual, for 10% off your comic cleaning and pressing needs. Remember, when submitting your books to be graded, use a trusted professional.